Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer. If it's the first time you're here, welcome. And if you guys are back, welcome back. Y'all, I'm excited that you guys are here today. I invite you to subscribe if you have not done so already. We talk about luxury beauty, all things beauty, what's new in beauty, what's working, what's not working. I love just chit-chatting about all things, all the things beauty. And I love talking to y'all in the comments about it too. I feel like, you know, we can just chit-chat and chit-chat away, you know? Today, I am going to try some of my Sephora items that I hauled recently. If you haven't seen my haul video, I will link it below so that you guys can go see that after this one or up in the eye, you know. And yeah, I really am excited to share with you this look I created with some of my brand new products. Let's get started. All right, I feel like I need some brows. So I have a new brow pencil that I purchased from Sephora. I'm so excited about it. Okay, where did you get? This is the new Dior pencil. This is, well, it's not new. It's new to me. <laughs> I just have never tried it before, but this is the Dior Show Brow Styler. And I was slightly confused when I unboxed this because it didn't have a top. And I just thought that was really just odd. And you twist it and it gives you, you can see it here. It's kind of cool, but it's really tough. I'm going to have to really, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty tough. We are going to try this on my eyebrows. And I like the fact that I like having a spoolie on the other end. I really do. It's just, it's so nice. And I like something that's sturdy. I'm not quite sure if this is going to be as sturdy as my Gucci one, but we will see. So this is the difference between this brow and this brow with this Dior Styler. I'm kind of liking it so far. It's different than the Gucci one that I just adore and love, but I could see me liking this for different reasons, just for the fact that this is almost like a really hard wax. When you put it on, let me show you what it looks like. It's hard, see? Isn't that crazy? Just really different than anything. Whereas the Gucci that I have, it's kind of just a soft pencil. And I like that too. So, I'm kind of liking the way my brow is looking though. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side and I'll be right back. So far so good with this brow pencil. Oh, it's not a pencil. It's kind of like a brow styler is what it's called. <laughs> so far so good. Oh my gosh, okay. So number one is down. I went ahead and added my bronzer. I forgot I had not put bronzer on, but now I want to go in with this Shiseido. Guys, look at this. This is that blush, the Set Suku 07 blush. Now this is that minimalist whipped powder blush. Y'all, this got amazing reviews on Sephora's website. And so I really wanted to try it. And it looks like it only takes like the teeniest, tiniest amount. But look, I can just grab some off of the lid here, but I don't know what brush to use. I actually might use my super dense Bobbi Brown brush. This guy is almost, he's almost done. <laughs> but I thought what I do is just go like that. Maybe I don't know. I've never used it before. <laughs> And then maybe tap it on my hand, kind of give it, get it into the actual bristles and brush itself. And then maybe just like this. Can y'all see? Wow, that is pretty. And it's not too bold. Look at this color, guys. This looks pretty bold, but I do like these types of shades for fall and winter. What kind of shades do y'all like for blush for fall and winter? I kind of like these type of sh types of shades, kind of mauve deeper tones. What do we think? That is really pretty. I mean, no wonder it got really good reviews. What do y'all think about this one? Are y'all, have y'all tried their blushes? I mean, this is really the first time that I've tried a lot of their color cosmetics. I have the blush and then also the concealer I wanted to try too. I always do that, you guys. I always go in with bronzer and blush and then I'm like, oh wait, I forgot concealer. I don't know. I don't know why. It's just habit, I guess. But this is the Synchro Skin, let's see. Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Concealer, and it says it is in shade Light, which is 203. I, well, I know, you know, summer's ending soon, which is 
wild. I cannot believe that. Yeah, I'm going to need lighter shades in the fall and winter, so I just thought we'd pick this up. But look at this. Look at this doe foot applique. Well, it's so, sort of like an hourglass doe foot. It's kind of interesting, isn't it? Something different for sure. And I am just going to pat. I have no idea how this is. It's supposed to be hydrating, supposedly. Kind of pat it right here and pat it right here. Sometimes when I do that though, it dries down too fast. Like for example, my hourglass concealer, that will set so quickly. I mean, you have no time at all to work with it and kind of blend it in. This, however, is more hydrating, it looks like, under the eye. I'm glad I got the light shade because I feel like the uh, anything deeper would have been too deep for kind of brightening and anything lighter than light would be too light. From far away, when I'm looking, I have a mirror right here. When I'm looking in the mirror from far away, it looks really nice. I found a Chanel powder I really like, you guys. Have y'all tried this? Oh my gosh. It's so good. Oh my goodness. I've been powdering with it and it really looks like my skin is airbrushed. So anywho. Wow. Look at that, you guys. It looks really nice. This powder, y'all, I'm serious. If y'all have not tried this Chanel Loose, I will share with you what it is because I feel like I need to share because it's so good. Watch me on my stories on Instagram. I've been using it over there too. So if y'all don't follow me on Instagram, I'm at Just Glow Firefly. So if you want to see what I'm doing over there, come in. Come. I invite you to join us. We have the best time. But look at this. This is the powder itself. I have mine in shade 30. It just takes the smallest amount and it really looks just airbrushed especially from far away now if you're up close of course you're going to see just a little bit of just a little bit of powder like it's going to look a little bit more matte than you know your normal skin would look but not in a bad way this looks very natural i mean as natural as powder can look if if that makes sense okay well hot dog <laughs> That's good. We're, we're making progress. Let's see. That's three products. Three for three so far. There hasn't been one major fail or dud or anything like that. So let's keep going. Last but not least, I have this gorgeous palette by Guerlain. And this is their, uh, look at this, you guys. This is the Meteorite Curl Dust Palette. How on earth? I've got to try to use all of them. <laughs> how am I gonna do this it's gonna be fun though let's see which one I want to use this oh my gosh these look amazing oh wow okay so maybe maybe what I'll do is go in with this shade here okay I love this oh my gosh I haven't pulled the sticker off yet y'all this is like the best part ever of a new, <laughs> of a new product <laughs> I know y'all really like Jen I, I'm serious it's so fun Oh my gosh, if I can get it off. Okay. How satisfying is that? <laughs> I love it. Okay, so I'm going in with this shade here. And I'm going to go... Oh, I love this mirror. The compact's large, but I like that. You know, I like being able to have a big mirror. Okay. Whoa! That is pretty! <gasps> okay, it's kind of like a pinky white based highlight that's a glow <laughs> that is a glow all right let's do the other side because I have to be even it does not take much you guys like that is that doesn't take a lot <laughs> I think I'm just gonna take this type of brush here and I'm gonna go into this shade it's kind of that uh it's almost like a gold it's like a white gold and then let's see Oh yeah, can you tell it's gold? It comes off across more gold in the light. It's not white, it's definitely gold. And then I have to use the other one. All right, now I have, I'm just going in with another small brush and I'm going to use the other one. Ooh, yes, okay, and then maybe right here. I do have a new product for my lips, but it's not from Sephora, but I thought I'd throw it in here because I really wanna try it. This is the Chanel. Nude Brun Lip Liner. This is one of their brand new formulated lip liners. You guys said that their new lip liners are 
phenomenal. I have a couple of the old ones over here and y'all they're just not that great. The old formula was not good and I'm hopeful that this is good. This new formulation packaging looks exactly the same. Honestly, it is a little bit different, but not really. I feel like this is a little bit more black or maybe that one's just dirty. <laughs> so it has a brush on the end and then on the other end is the lip liner here. And it does come with a sharpener. Now I really want to use this, <laughs> my Guerlain mirror now because I'm just loving this mirror. It's so big. I love the shade. It's kind of that brownie nude. Y'all know I love that brownie nude. The liner is actually very nice. I feel like the old formula was super hard. It was not soft. It was hard to kind of, it kind of dragged on your lips in a bad way. This is it ever going to work? But this one actually has some texture to it. It's, it's almost waxy. It's soft and it glides really well, but it's waxy to the point where I feel like it would last a long time. I'm going to continue to try this. And I like that I got a nude shade because I wear a lot of nude colors and stuff like that on my lips. So I enjoy that as well as being able to just put a lip liner on and a gloss, right? Which I'm going to do now. <laughs> I'm just throwing my Sicily 2 lip gloss. All right. That is the final look with all my newbies from Sephora. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I overall I think it went very well what do you guys think I think I'm gonna have to use I want to use more of this highlighting palette definitely but the formula is very very nice it's you don't need a lot I think I may have put a little bit a little much on my cheeks or whatnot but you know what whatever <laughs> And the eyebrow pencil, as I'm looking at myself in the mirror, I feel like the eyebrow pencil is very nice. It's very natural looking and I don't feel like it looks like too much. Now, my shade is in, in the universal shade. There are other shades, but I just thought to try that. Actually, very nice. It's not too bad I'm trying to figure it out, but overall, very nice. I, I do like the highlighter. I think it's very pretty. The blush is so soft. It's not sticky on the skin. I was kind of worried about that. I always get nervous about these kind of moussey cream blushes or whatnot. It's really the texture of it, but it's actually very soft and the color, it's just enough. Not too much, not too little, just right. I, I like that so far. And I do think that this is really nice. I, I'm glad I used it with a kind of bigger, denser brush so that it would be able to pack on some color as well as not put too much on either. Concealer, I'm liking this and I'm not much of a concealer girl, y'all. I have had a hard time with concealers in the past just for the fact that I don't know, I just don't like a cakey drying concealer. It's not a good look for me personally. <laughs> But I've really been enjoying this Chanel powder, which is kind of a newbie for me as well. Do you like how hydrating it is? And I do feel like it is brightening. Definitely so. And I had mine in the shade light. Oh, and I do like this lip liner so far. I have been really wanting to try the Chanel lip liners. I know that's kind of an add-on. Sorry. <laughs> I just, I mean, I was trying new makeup anyway. Might as well just throw it in there, right? But I really, I really wanted to try the new lip liners and I'm really glad that, you know, I had a, a chance to be able to try it just to see what the formula is about. I can do a dedicated video to that lip liner and how they compare to the old ones if you'd like. I'd love to do something like that. Or if you want more in-depth detail reviews on specifics regarding this makeup, the look, the highlighting palette, anything that you've seen here today, I'm more than happy to do so. Please just leave your request in the comments below. I love it when you guys make requests. It's just, I, I just, I just really love it. And I love chatting with you guys about the makeup and all the things beauty in the comments below. Thank you guys so much again for watching. I'm so excited that you guys are here. I hope you love this look. I hope you love kind of trying the new makeup and it's so fun. I really appreciate it. I will link my latest video right here so you can see it, and I'll see you there. Thanks for watching, y'all. Bye, y'all.